since I have some awesome guys on TikTok right now listening, I'm thinking, may I have your opinion, please? What is it with men these days and not wanting to date? Do you guys have a fear of commitment? Is it the woman these days? Does it have anything to do with spending money on women? Does it have anything to do with trust issues? Maybe dating apps? Maybe you feel like there are endless options in terms of significant others? Please let me know in the comments. Dating is hard. Dating is exhausting. To constantly put yourself out there to just be disappointed and disappointed and disappointed and nothing to ever work out for you is so mentally, emotionally exhausting. Every time I make a video like this, people always get confused and think that I'm miserable single. That is not true. I very happy single. I make content on TikTok for other people to learn how to be happy alone and single. But I'm not going to neglect the fact that I don't want to be single forever. I eventually want to find someone and to do that, I have to date. Dating sucks. To constantly feel like nothing nothing ever works out for you is literally like a mind game and i'm tired after another it is wild to me guys how you have this huge amount of modern women who are completely and utterly incapable of keeping around a guy right you see all of these videos all over the place dating sucks chivalry is dead why can't i find a good man where have all of the good men gone Okay, but nobody, you know, all of these women, they never actually rationally think to themselves, hey, is it a good idea for a man to get into a relationship with me? Am I actually worth the hassle that I try and make men go through? Because typically, guys, the answer is no. So we're going to be covering women here who have been completely and utterly unsuccessful in dating. And of course, dating for women, guys, is one of the easiest things you could possibly imagine. So it's always amazing to me when they completely screw it up to such a degree. But guys, let's jump into today's video. Today's video is made by Ministry of Masculinity. I'm going to leave his channel linked in the pinned comment. So make sure you check him out. And let's jump into some of this ridiculous nonsense. You know what I just realized about relationships? A guy starts off by putting 100% in the beginning of a relationship. And over time, that will slowly go down from like 100 to 95 to 90 to 80 to 85. And then you notice, and you only notice when it goes down to like 75 or 80%, and then you say something. And then when you say something, he puts back 5% effort and you're content. You're like, okay, he put in some effort, but it never goes back up to 100 or 90 or 95. It just goes from like that 75 to 80. And then it goes back down again to like 70. And then it goes down to 60. Long story short, it'll just go back down to 10%. When it started at 100, I'm not saying- You know what I think, guys? I think that a lot of these women who make videos like this, they think that they have relationships, but they actually don't. They're just in a bunch of situationships, right? Oh, why did a guy take me out on a date the first night that we hung out together? But, you know, a couple of weeks later, he's just saying, come around to my place. Straight up, guys, a lot of these women do not have relationships. And second of all, for the ones that actually do have relationships and they're noticing that the man is checking out, so many of these women, what they do is they try and hide their craziness until they get into a relationship with a guy or they lie about how many dudes they've been with and things like this. But as the relationship goes on, the mask starts to slip and dudes realize that they've been duped and it's not worth the effort relationships guys as much of these as much as these women want to pretend otherwise are a very large risk to men because oftentimes men have to bring a lot more to the table in order to even have a relationship with a woman they have to bring resources stability protection oftentimes they have to be quite attractive which means either they have to be genetically lucky or go to the gym right they have to invest a lot into the relationship women just kind of show up these days and expect men to do everything for them it's really, really sad. And then they wonder why dudes don't want to date them. Again, to like 70. And then it goes down to 60. Long story short, it'll just go back down to 10%. When it started at 100, I'm not saying all men do this. Correct me if I'm wrong, but as a woman, I feel like we invest more time and put in more effort as the relationship goes on because it becomes more and more serious. For all the story, if you're dating a guy and he starts off at 100% effort and you're noticing over time, it's slowly going down. I just think that you deserve better. You know, guys, I think so many of these women, you know, they say that, oh, relationships, women invest more and more over time. I think that over time, the women just get more benefits, so they have a harder time leaving. 
It's very hard to leave when the man's paying your rent. It's very hard to leave when the man is affording you a lifestyle, when he's looking after you, right? And this is why you see so many women sit here and complain and they're like, I'm miserable, but at a certain point, I just have to leave my husband of 20 years. It's like, they just like the crap that he provides. They don't actually like the man. And then they leave later on and then they regret it because now they have to return to a nine to five job. And again, guys, I think so many of these women who are making these don't even have relationships in the first place. They're just asking the question, why, have, why has effort gone down from men? And of course, the reason why men are putting less effort into dating is because why should they put more into it? Men, men are not rewarded for dating, guys. They, they really are not. Um, it's a very, very difficult and you know awful process for men to go through where they are ridiculed and made to feel like crap every step of the way. And then on top of that, if they do get into a relationship, they have to risk everything. They have to risk kids. They have to risk finances. They have to risk you know equity in a house if they get it, et cetera, et cetera. How much I date myself. How dating is hard. Dating is exhausting. <laughs> to constantly put yourself out there to just be disappointed and disappointed and disappointed and nothing to ever work out for you is so mentally, emotionally exhausting. Every time I make a video like this, people always get confused and think that I'm miserable single. That is not true. I very happy single. I make content on TikTok for other people to learn how to be happy alone and single. What an insane thing to do, guys. You know, you have women who say that they're single and they make content talking about how happy they are single. Now, if you're a watcher of this channel, guys, you already know my opinion on this, but people who are truly happy don't make TikTok videos talking about how happy they are in life, right? That's the amazing thing to me is people buy this nonsense. Oh, I'm happy single, but you know, it's just miserable and I wish something would work out. The reason why things never work out for these women um, is because they're shopping beyond their price range. They don't want the average guy. They don't want the man who would love them and take care of them. And by the time they get to age 30, guys, it's too late, right? This is an experience that a lot of guys have gone through, right? If you're a man and you're, I don't know, maybe in your early 30s and you've got your life together, you've got your career sorted and things like this, everything's going smooth sailing, you will oftentimes, at one point or another, receive messages from the women who used to treat you like crap. And they will say things like, hey, we should catch up for coffee or, you know, we should have a chat and things like this. You'll get the, the hey stranger message, I like to call it, right? And that's because these women overlook dudes throughout their entire life because they think that they're better than them, that they deserve more. And then they can never get a relationship, guys. And, it's all, and they always say, well, I'm not shooting out of my price range because I don't get the bare min minimum from men. If I was shopping out of my price range, then, you know, it would be... <laughs> But it's it's crazy, guys, because they're getting nothing in terms of being treated, quote unquote, well, because they're just shooting for the attractive dudes. They don't have to treat you well to keep your attention. You see what I'm saying? Women will oftentimes say the bar is so low for men. I just want a little bit of chivalry. But what they fail to mention is that the bar for unattractive men, the men that they don't find attractive, is really high. But the bar for men that they find attractive you don't have to do anything, right? This is why you have so many stories of women complaining about men having horrible personalities or cheating on them, quote unquote, and things like this, is because the dude never wanted anything to do with them in the first place. They don't want to take you out on dates. Your decision making is terrible. That's why you're in the situation that you're in. But I'm not going to neglect the fact that I don't want to be single forever. I eventually want to find someone and to do that, I have to date. Dating sucks. To constantly feel like nothing ever works out for you is literally like a mind game and I'm tired. After another man wasted my time during a talking stage, I honestly don't know if I want to do it anymore. I don't want to do it anymore. I give up. I'm not doing another talking stage. I am done dating. That's why I don't be telling my mom or my friends anymore about any of these little situations because it's like I could go on a couple dates and then they could ask me about it the next week and I'll be like, who? Oh yeah, we stopped talking already. Like, I can't imagine the disappointment that people like this, their parents have for them. Right, you've imagine you've got a daughter, okay, and she's out here, and every other week there's some new dude, some story with a different guy that she's trying to get a relationship from. I think that women, modern day women guys, have been absolutely bamboozled here. They've been scammed real damn hard. 
because they've been convinced that the quote-unquote talking stage is even a thing. Back in the day, guys, you didn't have a talking stage, okay? You weren't hooking up and replying to each other's Instagram stories and things like this before a relationship. It was relationship up front, then intimacy later. But here's the thing, guys, right? Men don't want to give a relationship up front for women who have had intimacy before a relationship. You see what I'm saying? Okay, it's very, very funny because w women seem to have like, they think this is normal, right? That the talking stage is a good idea for them. But really, this is something made by dudes who have a lot of options. And they're like, yeah, we just need to get to know each other first. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And, and then you have all of these women talking about, we need to be friends first. It's like, okay, you know, just go engage in hookups. Because that's what it is at the end of the day. Talking stage talking stage guys like let's really think through that how how damn funny that is and uh here in australia guys we call that the old switcheroo right <laughs> right oh it's so funny man they're so lost women like this are so lost also she's incredibly annoying um incredibly masculine and guys it's always the ones that are incredibly masculine that can't find a dude you ever notice that like always the strong and independent ones it's because no man can tolerate them you know, like you have to pay dudes money to tolerate women like this. They'll tolerate you for some fun. They'll tolerate you for a date or two, you know, try and have their fun. But they're not going to tolerate you long term because you're really aggravating to be around. You're not pleasant. You know, I, I cannot, guys, I'm going to get canceled for saying this, okay? But I can't, I cannot imagine this woman making a sandwich for a guy. I just, I just can't see her doing a nice deed. Now, that's something that in, in modern day society, guys, women aren't allowed to make their boyfriends or their husbands food. Um, but I can't even see it happening at all. Crazy stuff. No, that was a doozy. A doozy. It's really not easy out here because you will go on a date with a guy and maybe it'll go great. Maybe the second date will go great. But then by the third date, he'll either say something or stop trying, stop trying to take you out, give you sketchy vibes. I am good on all that. Thank you very much. Next. I yeah, so here's what happens, okay? This dude goes out on a couple of dates with her, and then he realizes that she's not attracted to him and nothing intimate happens, so he leaves and moves on to the next woman. That's option A. That's one of the things that'll happen. Option number two is he's attractive enough, he has his bedroom fun, and then he dips because he doesn't want to be around you. And you see, this is the problem that modern women have created for themselves, guys, and this is something that a lot of men are catching on to which is that if women try and gatekeep intimacy from you, so many of these modern women do not gatekeep intimacy to men that they are attracted to. So you tell me, why as a man should I go out here and take you out on all of the de these dates and pay for things for you and look after you and you're trying to deny me intimacy when the guy previous to me didn't have to get you a damn thing? Okay, that's that's what men that's what goes through men's head, you know, head, right? Is like the higher the mileage, the lower the price. That's just the way it goes. And we don't want to be paying full price for something that the last guy got for free. Absolutely not. And these women will try and convince you that, "Oh, I'm not that type of girl. I don't I don't hook up with these dudes on first dates." Guys, if the man's attractive enough, okay, these women on TikTok, they absolutely do. It's not even a question anymore. I literally have a picture of exactly what I want, the exact kind of man I want. It has nothing to do with what he looks like. I could literally transfer, like Build-A-Bear, the little qualities that I want in a man and put it in literally anyone, and I would probably fall in love with him. That's a lie. That's a complete and utter lie, guys. Please do not fall for this. Uh, women will oftentimes try and tell men this. Is like, oh yeah, I just want a guy with a great personality and who treats me right. And then if you were to sit down, guys, and be able to get a detailed list of this woman's quote-unquote dating history, I guarantee you none of these guys had to treat her well at all. That's why she's making the TikTok video in the first place. That's why she's annoyed. Because dudes don't give her chivalry. They don't, you know, they don't put in effort. So it's very funny to me how we're supposed to put in effort as a man, but all of the men that she's dated put in no effort. That's, that's not how this works, okay? If you're trying to sell a car and all of the bidders are maximum trying to take it off your hands for $1,000 and you're like, no, I'm going to sell it for ten grand," and it's like a some, you know, secondhand car or whatever, 
people are going to look at it and be like, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not doing this. I'm not paying full price for this nonsense. And she's trying to convince you guys that being attractive doesn't matter. For those of you guys who are not in the gym, right? I would strongly suggest that you go to the gym. Not that you can, not so that you can attract women like this. I mean, these women are absolutely awful. But number one, for your mental health, guys, I think it's good for dudes to be in the gym. But if you're a guy who's out there trying to date, again, good luck to you. But, you know, being attractive is important. Like, let's cut the nonsense here, guys. Like, the, these, <laughs> these women will try and tell you that they care about morals. They don't know what a damn moral is, <laughs> okay? They don't have morals themselves. They've got no clue. Right? So dudes will go out there, they'll hit the gym, they'll get attractive, they understand the game, and they'll just never give these women commitment. And that's just the way it goes. I would just have to keep trying. I mean, literally by like the 500th guy. And I will be waiting until that. Otherwise, I will be alone. Happily alone. No, because that's actually... Okay, before we jump into this woman, again, guys, please understand that this woman is not going to be celibate while she waits. She's saying that, oh, oh yeah, I'm just going to be alone. I'm going to go on, like, go through 500 dudes. Um, if you mean to tell me that she's going to go through 500 different dudes and she's going to remain celibate, no, I don't believe you. Not at all. But let's continue into the next clip here. This is not just Illinois. The dating scene is trash anywhere you go. Point blank period is the apps. Have you seen that half the apps are getting sued because they actually are using some type of psychological warfare to get you addicted to the app with zero prize? You're never going to win a prize on that app. You're never Every single social media application does this, by the way. They are all designed to get you addicted to them. I don't know what kind of court case this woman's referring to, but it's, it's all, all applications are designed in this particular way. Addicted to the app with zero prize. You're never going to win a prize on that app. You're never going to get where you want to go, but the inkling of hope is going to keep you scrolling, keep you swiping, keep you deleting and re-downloading the app because you heard from a friend of a friend of a friend that they met their husband or wife on the app. It, who you ask anybody how did you meet somebody how, how are you meeting people they met them on an app or they knew them from childhood that's it there's nobody meeting people at random stores random places anymore i don't even know like it's exhaust i haven't even been dating for the past six months and the thought of dating is exhausting guarantee you she hasn't been celibate for the last six months and this is exactly what i'm saying guys with like online dating and stuff like this i think that if you're a dude and you're trying to date you know, going to clubs and bars and things like this. Um, complete waste of most dudes' time. Complete and utter waste. I think that a lot of these women, when they go out and they're going clubbing or they're going to bars or whatever, I think a lot of them already have the dude for that night in their mind whose house they're going to end up at. Like, they, they already know, guys. They've already spoken to him on Instagram. They've already asked if he's going out that night. They've already made plans. Okay, most dudes will just get completely and utterly brushed off. Um, if you're super attractive, I guess you might be able to um, get in the way of that. But guys, like, it's not what it once was, right? Going out to bars, striking up a conversation and things like this. Women have already predetermined whose bedroom they are going to end up in. And that's just the way it is. Since we're talking about apps, have you been on this app? Have you heard of all the rules that come with dating? like the assumptions that come with dating you can't wear certain clothes because they're going to perceive you a certain way if the guy brings you flowers on the first day he's love bombing you like are you joking me yeah i mean makes sense to me the first one at least right it, people are always going to judge you for how you dress this is common knowledge guys women will complain about this crap but if you show up on a date wearing nothing you know, wearing next to nothing, you're going to get treated one way. And you can cry and you can complain that that's so unfair and you should be able to wear what you want. I'm sorry, I don't give a crap. People are going to perceive you a certain way depending on how you present yourself. That's just the, I don't, I don't particularly care. I don't have empathy for these people who are like, I should be able to wear whatever the hell I want and nobody should judge me, right? Absolutely not, man. Everyone's entitled to judge you. Wear something appropriate. I don't want to see you on a date Number one, I don't want to see you on a date at all. But number two, dudes don't want to go out on dates and spend resources on women who can't even dress properly. Right? We're not going to a club. He talks a little bit too much about himself. He's a narcissist. If, God forbid, you overshare, oh, you can't. you got to leave a little bit of mystery. Like, what are you doing? You can't talk about your exes and how badly they treated you in this current situation that you're in because then they're going to know to treat you like shit. You can't share anything that happened to you in your past because they're going to use it as ma manipulation in the future. Yeah, see, here's the problem. Men don't use this crap as manipulation. 
It's just they don't want a relationship with you if they hear this. If you go on a date with a dude and you start rambling about your exes and how bad they treat you, dudes will be like, eh, I don't want a woman who's been with 50 guys. I don't want a woman who every dude she goes out with is a problem because guess what? Next thing, she's going to call me the problem, right? Or I don't want to deal with a woman who's been through this many dudes. Men don't think like this. We don't go, ooh, let's manipulate that woman and use that against her and psychologically, like, all of this crap. Men don't think like this. They just hear that all of your exes were terrible and that we just tune out and we don't want to date you anymore, right? All of, all of your ex-boyfriends are terrible. They've treated you so bad. You're stuck in a situation ship. Cool. Keep going out there and hooking up with dudes. You have degraded yourself to for fun only. Right? Men don't think about this manipulation stuff. We either want to deal with you or we don't. And the problem is we don't want to deal with a lot of these women. Not at all. In the future, I don't want to have to think 15 steps ahead in my conversation for fear of being manipulated. Whatever happened to good conversation and good vibes? I don't know. And you know what? I started to consider actually like genuinely started to consider like vir like not even virtual, like l real life speed dating, like sitting down in front of somebody and talking to somebody. Be yeah, it still won't work for you. All of the dudes that go on speed dates, you wouldn't want them anyway. And all of the women on speed dating, why would you want them? Guys, I I'm telling you, as much as these women complain and they say, I'm done with dating, it's awful, men suck, whatever, right? These women just suck at dating. They're terrible at it. Like straight up, dating is a very, very, very easy thing for women. This is like, this is the equivalent, guys, of being a billionaire and then complaining. No, 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 sorry. Let's just say you're, you're a millionaire, okay? You've got a few million in the bank, maybe like, I don't know, two and a half million dollars in the bank. And you're tasked with going out there and buying a car, right? This is like that same person complaining that they can't afford a Bugatti. You know? Oh, well, the Bugatti's like five million. I only have two and a half million. They don't even know how much money they have, by the way. Right? But it's just, you see my point. It's someone who's loaded with money and who's incapable of picking a car that's within their price range. That's exactly what this is. Right? Dating absolutely sucks. It's terrible. I need to take these extra measures by going on these speed dates and things like this. No, madam, you're just completely clueless. But guys, we're going to be leaving today's train wreck of an episode there. As always, remember to leave your thoughts and your comments. Don't forget to check out Ministry of Masculinity. Make sure you guys take care of yourselves, and I'll be seeing you all in the next episode. Peace.